Hello, and thank you for joining me in Annie Stories. In the next several clips, I will be reading tales of Japanese origin that has been retold by Teresa Pierce Williston. Without further ado, let us begin our journey of Japanese tales. The Wonderful Tea Kettle The old priest was very happy. He had found a new treasure. As he climbed the hill to the temple where he lived, he often stopped to pat his beautiful brass tea kettle. When he reached the temple, he called the three boys who were his pupils. See here, he cried to them. Just see the beautiful kettle I found in a little shop I passed. I got it very cheap too. The boys admired it, but smiled a little to themselves. For they could not see what he wanted of an old brass kettle. Now you go on with your studies, said the priest. I will hear you recite after a while. So the boys went into the next room, and the old priest sat down to admire his prize. He sat and looked at it so long that he grew sleepy, and nod, bob, went his head, until in a moment he was fast asleep. The boys in the next room studied very hard for a few minutes, but they were boys, and no one was there to see to them, so you can imagine what they were doing by the time the priest was well asleep. Suddenly they heard a noise in the next room. There, the priest is awake, whispered one. Oh dear, now we'll have to behave, said the second. The third one was more daring. He crept up and peeped through the screen to see if it really was the priest. He was just in time to see the new tea kettle give a spring into the air, turn a somersault, and come down a furry little badger with a sharp nose, bushy tail, and four little feet. How that badger did caper and dance! It danced on the floor, it danced on the table, it danced up the side of a screen. Oh my, oh my, cried the boy, tumbling back. It will dance on me next. Oh my. What are you talking about, said the other two. What will dance on you? That goblin will dance on me. I know it will. It danced on the floor, and it danced on the table, and it danced on the screen. And now I know it is coming to dance on me, said the boy. What do you mean? said the others. There is no goblin here. Then they too looked through the screen. There sat the kettle, just as it had been before. You little silly fellow, cried one of the other boys. Do you call that a goblin? That looks very much like a tea kettle to my eyes. Hush, said the third boy. The priest is waking. We had better get to work again. The priest woke up and heard the busy lips of his pupils. What good boys I have, he thought. Now while they are working, I will just brew myself a cup of tea. He lighted his little charcoal fire, filled his kettle with fresh water, and put it over the fire to heat. Suddenly, the kettle gave a leap up into the air, spilling the hot water all over the floor. Hot, hot! I am burning, it cried, and like a flash, it was no longer a kettle, but a little furry badger with a sharp nose, bushy tail, and four little feet. Oh, help! Oh, help! Here is a goblin, shrieked the priest. In rushed the three boys to see what was the matter. They saw no kettle at all, but in its place was a very angry badger, prancing and sputtering about the room. They all took sticks and began to beat the badger, but it was again only a brass kettle that answered, clang, clang, to every blow. When the priest saw that he could gain nothing by beating the kettle, he began to plan how he might get rid of it. Just then the tinker came by. That is my chance, thought the priest, so he called, Tinker, tinker, come and see what I have for you. Here is an old kettle I found. It is no use to me, but you could mend it up and sell it. 
The tinker saw it was a good kettle, so he bought it and took it home. He pressed it carefully into shape again and mended all the broken places. Once more, it was a fine-looking kettle. That night, the tinker awoke and found a badger looking at him with his small, bright eyes. Now see here, Mr. Tinker, said the badger. I think that you are a kind man, so I have something to tell you. I am really a wonderful tea kettle and can turn into a badger whenever I wish, as you see here. I can do other things too, more wonderful than that. The kind-hearted tinker said, Well, if you are a badger, you must want something to eat. What can I get for you? Oh, I like a little sugar now and then, replied the badger, and I don't like to be set on the fire or beaten with sticks, but I am sure that you will never treat me that way. If you wish to take me around to the different villages, I can sing and dance on the tightrope for you. The tinker did this, and crowds came to see the wonderful kettle. Those who had seen it once came again, and those who had not seen it came to see why the people liked it so well. At last the tinker became rich. Then he put his beloved tea kettle in a little temple on the top of a hill, where it might always rest and have all the sugar plums it wanted. The End I hope you enjoyed this tale, and stay tuned for a new story tomorrow. I would also like to give a big thank you to my current 14 subscribers. Thank you so much for giving my small channel a chance to entertain you, and I am really grateful for that. Goodbye for now and see you in my next clip.